We've invited some of today's hottest style influencers and industry experts to join us for a casual conversation about beauty, relationships, lifestyle, and everything that inspires us as we get close up and personal. Our special guest today is pro gamer Cat Gun. Miss Cat Gun, thank you so much for coming in and joining us on yeah. Close Up and Personal. Um, first off, you have such a cool name, Cat Gun. <laughs> I know. Did you know that you were destined to become an ultimate pro gamer? Uh, well, I guess it was set in stone. I guess my parents, they had some idea. Um, my dad had the last name Gun, but unfortunately when he was growing up with that name, it was much more like peace and stuff, so it didn't fare too well when he was growing up. Was he a flower child? Yeah, he definitely. Yeah. My parents were both. That was my mom. She was. She flower was. Flower child, yeah. So for him, it wasn't quite as easy, but now now it's all like, yeah, I'm Gun, and that's like the first thing I say. That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> like, Cat Gun, she was uh, the winner for WCG Ultimate Gamer, which is wow. um, a gaming competition. And did you ever think, going from hobby, to professional, did you ever think that can actually happen for gaming? No, I had no clue. Uh, when I even was on the show, they targeted me instantly because I had a high gamer score. I, I didn't think I was necessarily a threat. I was going to play the whole, oh, I'm a girl, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't really work in that. Uh, it didn't work that way. So by the time that I had won, it was it was all surreal. You don't see it as like it's a guy's world. You see it as guys, just... Well, guys affect the way that girls enter into games. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the times guys are very aggressive and very rude. I mean, how, how do you deal with that? And, and when you do win, how do you deal with that too, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, first when it comes to dealing with the venomous negativity, I actually had to be reminded back when I was about like 15, 16, first playing on Xbox Live, my parents would remind me that I would be, I'd sound just like them. I would return the same kind of venomous negativity and my parents would be like, what are you, what are you doing? What about other girls? Like, do they view you as like, really big competition because mm -hmm. like it's mostly girls men and, and then there's you and they're like I want to be the number one girl <laughs> gamer. <laughs> you probably have like a target on your forehead. My main thing as a girl gamer is to try and maintain my femininity and my integrity. A lot of girls when they they get lost in in the atmosphere of gaming and they become almost too competitive where they're starting to sound just like a guy. So can you just take us all the way back to when you first started? Well, uh, gaming has always been in my family. My dad has always been tech savvy and on top of the next thing of what's coming out. Oh, cool. Yeah. So. Even though he was a hippie child? <laughs> yeah. He was a techie hippie, like Steve Jobs. Okay. Yeah, as yeah. soon as video games came out, though, that was definitely something that he was uh, involved in. It actually worked out great because it became a way of relating and socializing with the family. Like uh, my brother and sister, we'd all play Mario Kart. And we naturally competed and uh, it was my way of kind of getting out of chores. Because I would, my mom and I would play, so and then, cool. yeah, she, I'd be like, you know, okay, if I win, then you do the cat box. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, and this was before online gaming was uh, existed, so a lot of it had to do with just me and my siblings, and we would see who's the best, mm -hmm. just amongst the few of us. So how does that work? Like, how do you? How is your full time job gaming? You contract uh, depends on the events. So, for instance, Ultimate Playing Gamer. This down. <laughs> for instance, <laughs> Ultimate Gamer had a hundred grand uh, for the prize, and that was probably my biggest break. Uh, before that, I was involved in another gaming series where they paid you a uh, salary, and you played that game, and you tried right. to get the best at it, so you can attract sponsors. Sponsors are pretty much where it's at yeah. to support yourself for that kind of career, because uh, some tournaments will give you like a hundred bucks, but some will give you a hundred grand. How do you practice? Are you like? You, I'm you gonna play. make my thumb go faster. <laughs> <laughs> like, thumb exercises. I'm gonna do thumb stretches like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, no? you you sit down and you play and you have a regimen of understanding what events coming up. So let's say, for instance, you had an event next month. You start gearing your lifestyle towards getting ready for that event. Mm -hmm. So you practice. Most gamers practice about eight to ten hours a day. That's like so a real. Cool. That's a real job. Yeah, yeah. it's a real. That's job. a real job. I was gonna ask you, like, when I'm done playing a game for like a week. I am still playing it in my head, even yeah. when I'm not. You do do that? Yeah. I'll be like driving and like <laughs> I'm passing something and I'm like boom, boom. Like in my head, I'm like keeping score of yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah. That's what makes people that when you want to pursue a career in esports, you have to have that passion in you where you're thinking about the game outside mm -hmm. of playing it. So these people that play the game and pursue it on an esports level, they love that game. Do you often compete with your friends and is it kind of weird? Because think about it, I mean, when you're playing games with your friends, it's 
Yeah, friends actually help out a lot when it comes to gaming because those become your sparring partners. But what if you have to compete against them? There have been a few controllers tossed in my time that I've seen. Oh! <gasps> have you tossed one? No, 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 no. Wait, they throw it because you won? Yeah, they throw it because they're upset at the outcome. Yeah. So oh. they'll bet sportsmanship. Yeah. That's my brother. He's okay. crazy. He's like, yeah. and it just breaks and you have to buy a new controller. Yeah. That mad? <laughs>